Shout out to the Faces Podcast. Halliburton, can he make the jump to All-NBA? And here's why I think he has that possibility. He already is like the 20 and 10 uh, player to do that with 40% on three yeah. point shooting, right? Yeah, yeah. And every year he's gotten better and better and better. Yeah. Now he has his FIBA experience, which yeah. I think is going to make him even better. So he was already, I don't know, I, I would say at least like a top three point guard in the league, you would have to say. I don't know. We would say that. I don't know if a lot okay, of people Okay, okay. You got Luca. Okay, Steph. Staff clearly. I, don't, I think it's possible. I think Trey it's possible. Young. And so, for for me, just thinking, wow, it's possible for one of our players to be All NBA. That's great. It, there's an All NBA second team in there. I think, yeah, I think so. I here's here's the deal. I think we got our braces above our song. You know <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little and bit. So it's easy to be like, how are we not going to get a ring? But let's slow it down for a second, right? I would say, <clears throat> I would say that there is a path. I think the sky is the limit for Tyrese Howard. The sky. So far, yeah, yeah. I mean, we believe that. Clearly, the organization believes that. We yep. just gave a max contract. You know what I mean? And he looked great. And he looked great. And I don't think anybody who's a Pacers fan who watched Pacers games is going to disagree with giving that young man a max contract. He deserves it. He is our future. Yep. That being said, will he make all of me next year? I don't want to be a doubter, but probably not. But I think yeah. by at one point, once he develops further, yeah. Big time. Well, he is one of the best point guards in the league. So, is he top three? I don't know. So last year he had 20 points. If he had 25 points, still no, that's, that's a big difference. 20 yeah. and 25 is a yeah, big difference. No, that is huge. That mm-hmm. is huge. Yeah. But if he had 25 and those 10 assists, yeah. it'd be hard to say no. It'd be hard to say no. No, exactly. He's yeah. getting better. So, He's, I have no doubt in my mind he'll be an all-star. Miles Turner can kick rocks. You know what I mean? He can be the, he can be the replacement. No, no, I'm not hating. I am hating. But let, let's let's focus a little bit more on Hal Burton when it comes to All Star picks. You know, not many teams have many All Stars on their team. Many current All Stars. You know, yeah. let's not get greedy. Let's just put Hal Burton there. I got a text from one of my boys today, sending me this screenshot of this photo of potential lineup. This goes back to Drew Holiday. Of Drew Holiday. Tyrese Halliburton, Drew Holiday, Bruce Brown, Obi Toppin, Miles Turner. I love that lineup, except you're not going to keep Benedict Mathen on the bench again. I don't want to. So, know. Any Pacers fan who thinks we should get Drew Holiday, you're wrong. You're wrong, right? Like, Mathern has to start. Like, he's not only yes. do we have to see what we have, everything we've asked him, he's got an A-plus on the test. Now, I'm not saying he'll get an A-plus yes. as a starter, but he, he's earned that. He's earned that. And if all of a sudden Jairus Walker is getting the opportunity, he's still being well, six Well, who's to say you know, Jairus Walker is? He might not. He might not. He might not. He might not. He could. His, I don't think he's going to start. Because here's the thing. How well and how or Benedict was playing last season, and he didn't start until, you know, he basically did not start all season. Well, why would Rick Carlisle switch the formula for j Yeah. You know what I mean? It might be. It, it will be interesting. That will be the one thing. I won't mind watching preseason games. So I'd love to see how Zobi Toppin look, how Jairus Walker look. Oh, I'm so excited. Because, yeah. yeah, those so just and. Bruce Brown, I'm not as excited watching the preseason, but I think that'll be like a good little battle to watch out. Because yeah. I think they both have potential. I think Obi Toppin will win. a champion, man. Yeah. But that may live. <laughs> I, I think uh, Obi Toppin will win out. Well, I'm very excited to see anybody who pays attention to the Pacers, the, the moves we've made this offseason. There's one common theme about our offense that everybody's been talking about within this small community, and it's that we have a very fast, um, fast break offense. You yeah. know what I mean? So. Uh, we have three of the fastest players now a part of that offense. Yeah. But Halbert's always moved fast. He's known to move fast. Yeah. If you watch any of the FIBA games, he moves fast. Yeah. And now and now we got Obi Toppin and what is it, Bruce Brown? Yeah. yeah, okay, so boom, you know. And then we can incorporate we can we can have Benedict Mazler kinda of fall in that place. Not exactly a slow player, you know. Uh, when it comes to Miles Turner, I'll let you figure that out. But otherwise, yeah, we have a fast He's not offense. gonna be lugging down the field like yo. That's so. true. Yeah, that's true. He's also not gonna be rebounds. But anyway, um, I, I'm excited. I'm excited about that.